Not long after the pandemic surge, which crippled the supply chain, thousands of truck drivers are now being forced to leave the industry, causing a massive driver shortage. Many truck drivers were raking in thousands of dollars a month during COVID and are now struggling to make ends meet. The number of trucking companies in America increased 50% from the start of the pandemic to the end of 2022. And supply chain workers were offered record-breaking pay, which led to thousands of people jumping into the industry. Now that the strain on the supply chain has eased back to pre-pandemic levels, the demand for truckers have slowed down, causing massive spikes in unemployment. There are 3.5 million employed truck drivers in America, and most trucking companies only need a few good drivers to run a successful trucking business. A lot of new trucking companies were registered in the last few years. Independent owner operators or single motor carriers flooded the market because of two reasons. First, as we all know, there was a lot of demand for hauling freight because of COVID. But there's another reason that not too many people know of or realize, which is people on social media promoting a get-rich-quick scheme about trucking as a side hustle, using words like trucking automation, which pushed more people into trucking who had never known about anything about this industry prior. Many of the new motor carriers entered the market during that time and started using the load boards. They were sifting through their load board apps for all the high-paying freight they could ever get because the demand was so high the rates they were getting were unprecedented. No one had ever seen anything like this in the industry. In this time frame, about two and a half years ago, they were communicating with freight brokers and with shippers, moving freight, but never really establishing relationships with direct shippers. Now that the market has dipped, even mega carriers were posting declining revenues. These one-man trucking companies didn't build up business relationships like you would in any other business. Now this spot market has taken a deep dive. It's all dried up. They have nowhere to go. They're trying to chase contract freight, which is usually locked in with the medium to large carriers. These small owner operators are now trying to disrupt the contracted freight market. Large shippers know about this opportunity too. The tables have turned. And they're thinking something like, hey, if we move this load through the spot market, it will save money versus giving it to our contract carrier. The tables have turned because as you know, in COVID, shippers had to push all this volume that they couldn't cover with their contract carriers over to the spot market. And now it's the reverse. They don't need to do that at all, but it's a great discount for them. They are now taking some capacity out of their contract freight and pushing it to the spot market. I mean, if you think about it, who wouldn't? Now, all these things heavily affect the driver shortage because trucking is a cyclical business based on the supply and demand of physical goods. Before COVID, medium to large size trucking companies struggled to find drivers, but they would face up to an average of 5 to 8% of their trucks unseated at any time. During COVID, the unseated trucks spiked to an average of 10 to 20%. When you have 20% of your trucks with payments or overhead, those parked trucks can quickly eat into your bottom line. Fast forward to now, trucking companies are still struggling to find drivers, but they're struggling to find qualified truck drivers. They don't need more truck drivers because of the freight market. They need more qualified drivers. Why? Because the drivers who are not doing over 2,500 or more miles per week are drivers trucking companies just can't afford on the team. Every day I hear from my clients how they're getting underbid on all of their dedicated freight because these small carriers want to haul anything to survive and keep the show going. Let me give you a quick breakdown. If I am running 10,000 miles, I'm running it at $2.50 a mile. I will be grossing out $25,000 per month. Now, if I'm running at $1.90 a mile, 
multiply that with 10,000 miles. We are talking about $19,000, which is a difference of $6,000 in gross income within one month, producing the same miles. If you are a small fleet owner or an owner operator that has two or three trucks, that's a difference of $18,000 plus every single month. If you have 10 trucks, that's a difference of $60,000 every single month. Now, if you have over 100 trucks, that's a difference of over half a million dollars every single month. And you're still producing the same amount of miles. On the other hand, the costs have remained the same or gone up. Parts, insurance, cost of a new truck, repairs, everything is up. So trucking companies can't afford a driver doing seven, 8,000 miles a month. Most trucks are breaking even or losing money. So if you are a trucking company struggling to find qualified drivers who are hard runners, safety driven, and can still make you money in this economy, reach out to us. I have a link in the description for you to schedule a call directly with us. We help trucking companies of all shapes and sizes in every corner of the country recruit qualified drivers on their own.